Okay, four days in. Um, the recipe calls for three days, but I went a little bit longer just to ensure the fermentation had taken place. And as you can see, primary is now going into a secondary vessel. Now my secondary vessel is a pretty cheap plastic, uh, 32 litre um, vessel, does the job. Made the mistake of cleaning it at a high temperature, which slightly dented uh, the plastic exterior, but hasn't damaged it, still works fine. One other piece of news is I did my hydrometer test and what you can see is if you remember the initial um, reading was at about 5% what you can see now is it's coming out at zero so that's pretty much totally fermented out for me I've transferred um, the beer from the primary to the secondary successfully a nice amount in there pretty much drained all of the 21 litres I had out without sucking up too much of the sediment at the bottom um, I'm now about to add my dry hops which I'm just putting some hot water just to kill any bacteria that might be around them um, put them in the bag as I want to avoid as much kind of mush as possible in my beer uh, I want a good clarity if possible so I always bag my hops what you might notice is that there could be a bit of a problem in getting them out in that thin um, funnel at the top of my secondary fermenter so what I do is very simply I tie some sting around and I add a little bit of extra string which kind of dangles if you like which helps me grab hold of the, the hops, uh, the hop bag when I've finished and pull them out. When I started my video I mentioned uh, sanitation and keeping everything sanitised uh, especially after you use it. As you see here I'm just draining out all the um, sanitizer I used to clean my secondary fermenter prior to use. So this will get a good scrub down before it's put back under the stairs, ready to be used again, probably in about two weeks time. Okay, so um, the beer is racked to the secondary fermenter. And as you can see, a lovely colour, slightly darker than what I originally thought, but a really nice colour. The hot bag sunk right to the bottom. I didn't have any marbles or stones or whatever you might like. Um, but it sunk right to the bottom, which is brilliant. I also added around 100 grams of honey. It's a bit of a gamble, something I've never done before. Um, I want to influence the taste a little bit with a, a tad of honey. So I've tried it, I'll let you know what it tastes like. Thanks a lot. Okay, so 12 days on, and my beer is still in its secondary fermenter. Um, initially, I was aiming for 10 days, but just due to time restraints, work, etc., we haven't been able to get to it over the weekend, so I'm doing it tonight. As you can see, the beer has come out a nice ruby red colour. Um, I haven't had a smell yet, dying to have a smell see what the dry hopping has done but nice and clear on top as you can see at the bottom there's a very small layer of sediment that's formed so looking forward to siphoning this to my bottling bucket my bottling buckets sitting behind again it was pretty cheap from, I believe from Wilkinson. Uh, I've added a tap to it, pretty simple. Um, I made a little mistake when drilling a hole with this and I had to slightly 
cut the side of the of the container, which I've managed to mend after the numerous attempts. It works fine. Uh, you'll see a number of different bottles. So first of all, some large four-point swing top growlers. A number of uh, Fuller's bottles, which have been washed and cleaned and are ready to go, labels removed. And a number of swing top bottles, just for uh, making my life a little bit easier, to be honest. I do find capping bottles slightly frustrating. All these bottles have been put in the dishwasher, which is fine, but what I have noticed previously is the beer can pick up a slight off flavor from doing it this way. So what I do is every single bottle gets sanitized again with the Wilkinson's Brooklyn's cleaner. Again, just a small amount of water in each one, tops on, cover them up, let the heat do the work, give them a thorough rinsing off, and then you're ready to go. See you shortly. Okay, so it's very simple. All I'm doing is just adding one and a half a teaspoon to a pint of water. A pint of water will do about five to six bottles. So just a little bit in the bottom. You don't need to fill them to the brim. Give them a good shake, leave them, empty your fluid into your bottling bucket. So that's nice and sanitized as well. Um, quite a few to go and I must say the bottling process is probably my least favorite part of the whole brewing um, as it takes so long I'm going to um, batch prime so I won't be putting individual pellets into my bottles or measuring out uh, individual measurements of sugar uh, I'm going for the batch Hence the fact I'm using the bottling, bottling bucket. Should be ready to go in about 10, 15 minutes. The extra sanitization of the bottles is very simple. So all I do is literally just give it a good shake. Turn it upside down, shake again. Empty, sorry, into my bottling bucket. Fill up to the halfway mark with tap water, and as you can see, I leave it dry. Then I place over the back here, and I'll probably line some uh, kitchen well. I'll, I'll just leave them upside down for a further half an hour, so any remaining residue drains out. So I'm ready to bowl. Okay, just that's set up and ready to bottle my beer. Um, bottling bucket in place, ready to go. Siphon's been sterilized, ready to uh, siphon my secondary into my bottling bucket. All my bottles, as you see, have been sanitized. I've got 65 grams of Demerara sugar, which has been added to just under a pint of water, ready to boil. As you can see, um, the secondary is transferring nicely through to my bottling bucket. And I'm just boiling the sugar water to carbonate my bottles we said previously about 65 70 grams of demerara sugar going in there when this process is finished i will uh, move my bottling bucket up to the top of the work surface and i will transfer to the bottles using my my drip tray i do have a tendency to get beer all over the floor so i'm doing my best not to get a rollick in from the missus tonight 
so far so good as you can see a lovely clear L is siphoning into my bucket and I will say the smell is fantastic I think the hops have done a really really good job okay um, I've transferred from the secondary to the bottom bucket as you can see very little left in the bottom a tiny bit of sediment floating around there but not a lot which means my um, transferring from my primary to my secondary was good my bottler is all ready to go Probably got around 21 and a half litres of beer. All finished and around 40 pints of beer. Bottle capping, I hate. I've um, confirmed that tonight. Pain in the bum. I otherwise need to get a new bottle capper. Um, I might look for a top punch version rather than the Young's one I'm currently using which is just terrible takes forever doesn't create a good seal but got there eventually I'm testing every single bottle uh, as you can see nice clarity to the beer lovely colour there's my little sample and another thing I left is my secondary fermenter and my bottling bucket. So if you have a look in the bottling bucket, you can see quite a bit of sediment left in the bottom. But if you take a look inside, the bottling bucket is absolutely nothing. So if anyone is thinking about bottling straight from a secondary, I would recommend going from your bottling bucket, investing the extra £25. It seems to have made a massive difference. I will finish my uh, tutorial with a taste test. Probably in about a month's time. Um, I've had a taste already. Tastes good, but obviously very green. But after my beard matured, aged, I will finish this video with my taste test. Thank you very much. See you in a month's time.